story that came out in SF Gate. And we have seen this cycle repeated on a regular basis in America, where people are just simply trying to live out their lives, go on about their business. And there are people out here that have deputized themselves to be overseers of people that are not committing a crime not doing anything wrong, and they are hell-bent on trying to get the cops out to cause harm to individuals that really don't deserve it. They're not doing anything wrong. So here we have a Black business owner in San Francisco that has a lemonade stand, and he sells like a gourmet lemonade to the public. And the police were called on him while he was trying to open his business. And this article is dated July 22nd, 2018. Okay, so his name is Victor Stevenson. And he said he had uh, the San Francisco police called on him earlier this week while he was trying to open his lemonade stand in the Mission District because someone in the neighborhood thought he was breaking into his own business. I know, imagine that a black man with his own business. I, that is really shocking, isn't it? I, mean, I guess in America it is. The owner of a high-end lemonade stand in San Francisco Mission District said he was approached by officers with the San Francisco Police Department on Thursday, July 19th, as he was opening his business after someone in the neighborhood thought he was breaking into his own business. Oh, well, let me guess who that someone was. Whew, you really need to leave folks alone. Victor Stevenson, a Black man who is the owner of Gormanade told AJ in an interview that he was checking to see if the security system for his lemonade stand was working when four cops approached him. He said one of the officers had his hand on his gun. The officer said, can you prove that this is your business. So just another way of saying, show me your papers, boy. Okay, it's it's the same thing. Okay, <laughs> show me your papers, boy. And I said, absolutely. Like I have the key. Stevenson told AJ, I opened and closed the doors. San Francisco Gate reached out to the San Francisco Police Department for comment, but weren't able to reach anyone at the department at the time of publication. Stevenson's experience is the most recent in a string of instances of Black Bay Area residents getting cops called on them while doing... <laughs> You know, th this is just ridiculous, but look at it this way. We are not the ones that they're frowning upon when these videos go viral, ladies and gentlemen. Always remember that. The people that are initiating this stuff, they are the ones that have to go into hiding. Or they get caught red-handed being racist on camera. They are the ones that got to go into hiding. Always remember that. And it's a, it's a scar on them and their entire community because the people within that community are doing absolutely nothing to stop it. And neither are the police. The police are not doing anything to stop it. So that being the case, 
we have that one thing on our side because as I stated before, and I'm going to keep telling you this, they are losing the PR war on calling the cops on non-criminal offenses. People that are doing exactly what you claim should be done. They're trying to pull themselves up by the bootstraps like this man is with his own business and take care of himself. And when you carry out this function in America, people have an issue with that. So they are being very disingenuous when they tell you to pull yourself up by the bootstraps. When they sabotage you like this, ladies and gentlemen, what they're doing is trying to force your hand so that you can depend 100% on them. And what they don't realize, there are many of us out here that are fighting for our own survival and we're not leaning on them for a crumb and they don't like that. And they're afraid that you're going to encourage others out here to do the same thing. They want us 100% depending on them. And here's the thing, they can't make us do it. They can't make you do it, okay? They can try to sabotage you. You know, that's one thing my father told me growing up. He said, the worst thing they can do is sabotage you, but they cannot stop you if you are determined to do something. And I never forgot having that conversation with my father. He told me that all the time. Nobody can stop you from doing nothing if you are determined to do it. So family, these folks are going to continue to keep trying to disrupt our lives. They're going to keep approaching us and doing these kind of things. You keep getting up and living no matter what the circumstances are. Keep your head up and just know you are not in violation of any law when you try to Get out here in the world and fend for yourself like this brother in the picture. You know, he is the type of person they would try to locate where he is and tear down his lemonade stand just so he can turn around and depend on them and buy from them and all that stuff. You don't have to do none of the above. You can get out here and fend for yourself. And there are many things you can do on your own where you don't have to lean on these people. So don't let them come and con you into believing the only way you're going to survive in America is leaning on them. That is not true. It's a psychological trick and they want you to believe it so that you don't even try to do for yourself. And there are people that are they, w they won't even make an effort to give a business a try on their own, like this brother. So I say to Victor Stevenson, keep doing what you're doing. Obviously, it's bothering somebody. And that tells me you're doing the right thing. Please tell me what you think of this article. I think what you know, the caller, I hope you burn in hell. I hope nothing in your life go right and everything that you try to do fails. You don't deserve anything good to happen when you do this kind of stuff to others. And as for Victor Stevenson, you keep on living and I hope you have even more success with your business because of this incident. I tell you what, if I ever come to San Francisco, I will come out there and look for your business and patronize you. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.